Thank you, sir. Yeah? Secretary Rusk on 9-0. Uh, I, I feel myself that it's quite important that um, your statement uh, be delayed until we have the the action program to, to announce. And that can't be announced until the fellows have had a chance to be on target and away. Uh, if you make the statement without uh, the reference to the specific action, it will simply create great, great confusion all over the world for, for quite a few hours and among our own people. I don't know what your own problem is about airtime and that sort of thing, but... Um, uh, I would hope that you could uh, make your statement uh, when it's safe to do so from the operational point of view. Well, uh, have you talked to McNamara about this? I haven't on this particular point. No, I just talked to Mac Bundy. Uh, well, uh, uh, I'll call him and call you back if you wish. Yeah, you all better. They, everybody's got a different idea, Dean. They're just running all over the lot. Uh, all right, I'll call him and wait. Oh, Mac, to get with uh, McNamara, uh, what does Bundy say? Uh, which, Mike George Bundy? Yeah. Um, I think he uh, tends to agree with me on this. But let me get, get a hold of Bob McNamara. I, didn't, I, I, I haven't had a report on how, how much of an operational problem is involved. Well, uh, the, last, the plane's just starting to get off now, and it'll be after midnight before you can have any statement. So he suggests that you make a statement that action is of, uh, of military nature is now underway. And he doesn't say that you give the name of the town or the kind of airplane you're driving or the size of the bomb, but they just say appropriate military action is now underway. I see. Well, let me, let me, uh, I, I'll check with him and we'll get coordinated on this.